Hello guys, it's me Alex, Hotel Bravo 9 Delta Radio India and I will show in this short video how a properly pulse calibration is done in Lindred together with the IQ Plus dual channel receiver. Uh, for that purposes I already prepared a Lindred copy already here. We have here the SSB underscore correction file and I will delete that because that is the noise blanker correction and I will keep the IQ correction file because this is not a topic of this video and it's a must you have this IQ correction before implement any noise blanker corrections. The important part is you have your pulse generator already set up. The information about how to build this very simple pulse generator is in www.linkrf.ch. Okay. Let's go start Lindred and see what we have here. Probably the oscilloscope is already running. Yes, uh, I will switch off the oscilloscope and I will start again and I will explain. I start in SSB, quite is my standard setup for MAP65. I rearrange Linder Lindrad screens to have this empty area here because I need the oscilloscope running. To run the oscilloscope I will press the O here and we will have the O, the oscilloscope time domain representing the four channels here. The noise blankers are here, the dumb noise blanker it works in automatic but if I try to press the smart noise blanker doesn't work because it's not calibrated that means let's go and turn on our pool generator and you can see a terrible amount of pulses are reaching our antennas input and are destroying our passman the smart blanker doesn't work but if i activate the dumb blanker we can kill the pulses but in every place where a pulse was I have nothing and you can see an empty space here and here and here and here. That means the dump blanker is killing the pulses plus some valid information on your passband. That is why we need a better noise blanker. And the smart blanker doesn't work because it's not calibrated. That means let's go and and calibrate. I will down my volume to avoid any annoying uh, uh, problem with the codec and I will press X, I will press later C for calibrate and now I will say B to calibrate total amplitude and phase. And as soon as I press B I enter in this screen where we can read very important the signal to noise ratio of the pulses we are sending need to be over 30 dBs. Even if Lindrad spoke about 13 dBs as a limit, when in this screen is lower than 30 dBs, I never had a good result. It's raising almost 38 dBs. Quite is okay. If I'm satisfied with that value, I press enter and I pass to the next screen. The next screen is just making the computation of the pulses. As you can see, Lindred is accepting at the moment more than 4,000 pulses to correlate and to calibrate properly the noise blanker. As soon as I have at least 4,000 numbers, I will press the letter U to show how the filter will be applied. The yellow line is what it is. And we have two channels represented. The white is what we want, the desired amplitude. As soon as we have this one, we just press Epsilon to accept. And then the computation go again and start to collecting data uh, for a second time. But at the moment already the data is on the RAM. That means we need to pass just this data to the disk. And to do that, we press S. As soon as press, I can stop Lindrod with X and X and I can press D to start SSB again. And now we can see, we continue looking the pulses. I will start the dumb blanker. It's killing the noise, but killing also spaces. 
of my signal and let's go and kill now with the, with the smart blanker and look these guys the smart blanker smart blanker kill all the pulses without killing white areas on your past one i remove pulses are there i attach pulses are not anymore there and if I do the same with the, with the dumb blanker, with the standard blanker, you can see empty spaces in areas where a pulse is. And that is not exactly what we want. And a good practice is to keep both noise blankers running at the same time. Okay, guy, that is the calibration of the noise blanker. Calibrations regarding center discontinuity and refined IQ image reaction will be done in another video. Thank you very much and I wish you a good calibration of your Lindred and IQ Plus uh, setup.